Hello guys, a very warm welcome to all of you. So today we will discuss about the phenomenon of double refraction. Double refraction. So to understand this concept, let us consider a case when we, when an unpolarized beam of light is incident on a unpolarized beam. When it is incident on a crystal like calcite, then it usually splits up into two components and the ray which travels undeviated is called the this is called the ordinary ray or O ray and the ray which travels deviated is called the E ray or extraordinary ray and the and and this phenomenon is due to the double refractions means the phenomena of uh, of a splitting of the lines when an unpolarized beam is incident on a crystal uh, calcite crystal then we will observe that it splits up into two components O ray and this O ray obeys the laws of the refractions and splits up into a ray which deviated is called the extraordinary ray which does not obey the law of the refraction then this phenomena is called is called as the double refraction and the substance exhibiting substance like crystal which exhibits this phenomenon is known as doubly refracting crystal doubly refracting crystal so in the next part we will discuss that what happened if we place a polaroid behind the crystal so let's see what happened if we place a polaroid behind the crystal say this is a polaroid p P dash. If a polaroid P P dash is placed behind the crystal, and if we and if we rotate the polaroid, and if we rotate the polaroid, then for the two position of the polaroid, when the when the pass axis of the polaroid is, this is a uh, we see that this is a plane of paper. When the pass axis of the polaroid is perpendicular to the plane of the paper, then we will observe that the E ray, this E ray will be blocked and O ray will be passed through. And if the pass axis of the polaroid is along the plane of the paper, means it is along P P dash, then O ray will be blocked and E ray will be passed through. So this is a concept when we place a polaroid behind the crystal, uh, what happened to the O ray and the E ray and this is about the double refraction. Now we will see the interference of the polarized light means the O ray and the E ray and the uh, half wave plate and quarter wave plate. Now half wave plate number one is half wave plate and quarter wave plate. As I said before, uh, calcite is a doubly refracting crystal. So let us consider a case when a, a beam is incident on the surface of the doubly refracting crystal. Then the xy component, uh, we will observe that the xy component of the uh, uh, xy component of the incident beam is uh, its x component is e naught sine phi cos kz minus omega t and the y component is e naught cos phi cos kz minus omega t this k is called the free space wave number k equals to omega by c and uh, inside the crystal the xy component is as we as we know that as i said before that inside the crystal there is a phenomena of the double refraction there is a o ray ordinary ray and the extraordinary ray so inside the crystal the component of the xy component is ex equals to e naught sine phi cos n naught which is for the ordinary ray kz minus omega t this is for o ray and ey equals to e naught 
cos phi cos n e k z minus omega t this is for e ray <coughs> and we know that cos of minus x equals to cos x so this e x and e y can also be written as you can pause the video and write whatever i wrote uh, e x equals to e naught sin phi cos of omega t minus n naught minus kz omega t minus n naught kz since cos of minus x equals to cos of x and e of y equals to e naught cos phi cos omega t minus n e kz <coughs> now let us write this n naught kz as theta naught and n e kz as theta e so e x equals to e naught sin phi cos omega t minus theta o and e y equals to e naught cos phi cos omega t minus theta e by solving this we will get e equals to e naught sin phi cos of omega t minus theta where we have theta equals to theta naught minus theta e theta equals to theta naught minus theta e as i mentioned before that theta naught equals to n naught kz and theta e equals to n e kz so we have n naught kz minus n e kz let's take the common kz and n naught minus n e as I mentioned before that k is a uh, free space wave number and z is the thickness. So we have free space wave number k equals to omega by c and z is the thickness d. So n naught minus n e omega by c n naught minus n e thickness where d is the thickness of the crystal. So if the thickness is such that means if uh, theta equals to pi by 2 this is the relation between the thickness and the theta so theta equals to omega by c n naught minus n e t if theta equals to if theta equals to pi by 2 and the relationship between the wavelength and the uh, phase difference where the pi by 2 is the phase difference phase difference and the relationship between the wavelength and the phase difference is wavelength equals to phase difference into path difference path difference means lambda by 2 pi so phase difference is pi by 2 and path difference is lambda by 2 pi this pi pi cancels out and we get lambda by 4 so when the lambda when the wavelength is lambda by 4 then it is called a quarter wave plate Then it is called a quarter wavelet. And when the theta is pi, means when the phase difference is pi, when the phase difference is pi, then we get wavelength as phase difference into path difference lambda by 2 pi. So phase difference is pi into path difference lambda by 2 pi. So we get wavelength as lambda by 2. So when the wavelength is lambda by 2, then it is called a half wave plate. half wave plate so guys this is all about the half wave plate 
quarter wave plate and the double refraction uh, in my previous videos I, uh, I discussed about the topic uh, means uh, plane polarized and uh, unpolarized plane polarized wave linearly polarized wave and unpolarized wave you can see uh, it is mentioned in my description box about uh, about the previous video uh, so this is all about the double refraction half wave plate and a quarter wave plate and if you think that I made the clear vision of this concept to some extent then do like my videos and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get uh, so that you get notified whenever i upload new video and uh, do comments and let me know in the comment section on what topic what different topic of the physics you want to make more videos on so that's all thank you bye thank you guys bye bye